Hello my soccer universe, it's my favorite type of video. I received my order from Classic Football Shirts, getting ready for the Africa Cup of Nations. But before we open this bad boy, I want to show you, I have another shirt that I got from there. Uh, it has been longer in the making, my brother got it for me because the seller didn't want to sell it, uh, send it. It's the Algeria 2010 home jersey, which of course I got because of I really like this Fennec here, the Desert Fox. It's now another one to my Africa 2010 collection, where I have Cameron the, the Ivory Coast Cote d'Ivoire already. I really would like to get most of these, although I'm not so fond about the Ghana jersey of this one, but I really like this one. This Fox is great. There's actually quite some interesting differences between the shirts that I definitely will have to talk about. But yeah, it's a white jersey, but overall, that was one that I always wanted to have. I actually like the away jersey even better. Also light green like that with a little bit of white. Let's open the package. So, first thing out. It's not a jersey. But I got the other two um, programs for the fabric of football. So that complements the first one that I got. I'm very happy to have now all of these. And of course, we'll look at this very, very closely. This one is for the London collection. Probably very similar, but there are some differences. And then here's from the World Cup. Moskva is a lot thinner, but it's very much World Cup related. So looking forward to looking at this. Okay. First jersey out. Let's start from the top. First jersey out. Gonna keep it is this beauty. It's the South Africa 2012, 2013 jersey. I think it's 2012. It's when they were wearing this. It's a Puma jersey. I always wanted to have a South Africa jersey for a simple reason. I've been to South Africa. I have one jersey, but it's not a soccer jersey. So I'll show you that. So I wanted to get this one. Of course, it has the really nice, I think it's a rainbow pattern here on the bottom. This is why I actually got it. And also one, I want to get the Protea flower. And yeah, I don't have any of this style. Puma. South Africa was not with Puma at the World Cup when they were hosts, but afterwards they were. Pretty nice jersey, absolutely. Really like this one. I would like to have one of the late 90s. That would be my wish. One of those fry, I think it was Kappa made those. That was that, that, that I would really like, but I really like this pattern here. Makes for a nice jersey. So that is number one. Let's put the bags down here. Number two. Another North African country and another country that I have been to. And I want to have a jersey. I'm already opening it. It is Tunisia. It's the 2005 kit that they were wearing at the um, Confederations Cup in Germany. Um, why do I know it? Uh, they were the same design when they won the Africa Cup of Nations 2004, but now they have the star here. So. That's why that, that is, it's number five, you see Jaziri. The number is basically just screen printed on, which is kind of interesting, but I actually like this one. I like, honestly, this crest here a lot better than the current one because the eagle has so short wings. I really like this crest better. That was the reason why I went for this one. I had the chance of getting the Tunisia shirt from the same Africa range as here, this Algeria shirt. But honestly, I like this one better. So that's the reason. I might get the other one still. So that's number two. Or number three, if we include the Algeria jersey. The number th three out of the bag. And number five, a uh, number four overall. Ghana 2014 home. I've been going, I want to get a Ghana shirt. And you know, the Ghana shirt I want is the away shirt from 2010. 
I never really liked the white Ghana shirts, but I almost was decided I will get the one from 2006 over the one from 2010. But I never was so into the white. So it is, and when I saw that they sell this red one, which, which has this crazy all over pattern, showing you here, I said this should be the one. It was also between this one and the black 2006 jersey, which also looks nice, but in the end I wanted to have the color and I think this one is a little bit more special. Not that I don't want to have the other ones too. This by the way is a player version but not the tight fitting one. Uh, this is the player version for, um, you know, they produced um, the tight fitting ones and then not so tight fitting ones but it's a lot more ventilated. It has of course a plain back. Yeah, and I like the, it, I like how colorful it is. So I'm quite happy with that one and looking forward to wear this a lot during the Africa Cup. And believe it or not, there's one more. I really went out this time, but I wanted to be perfectly uh, suited up. The shirt that I have here is a Fortune from a team that is not qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations, but I'm going to use this shirt to represent the remaining teams. It is Burkina Faso, which really is my second favorite team in uh, in Africa and this is the combat skin player version um, in XL XXL which should be super tight fitting and I'm very very curious how this one will fit and look like uh, just taking it out of the bag it has already a different material field oh I'm looking forward to making a video with this uh, showing off the features of this one it has a very very soft feel to it and yes it is super super tight fitting uh, I'll, of course my girls will like that those are two horses here this is actually quite sturdy as compared to the puma and other ones this is quite sturdy oh and believe me this material it reminds me a lot on the the kappa shirts of the early 2000s that i have this could be a really interesting thing to wear yes it is very uh, slim fitting but I'm looking forward to wearing this one uh, very interesting colors and I'm very happy to have the Burkina Faso they were actually made it to the semifinals when they were wearing this one so really really looking forward to this shirt well let's see some other features here <laughs> they have all the care instructions here it's basically a sticker in there and that's that and yeah imported by basic Italian da, 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 da. Whatever do we have here? 40 degrees, no ironing. Yeah, I mean the typical stuff that comes with it. That is a very interesting material. I, this is so much fun. Oh, this will be a lot, lot of fun to wear. And look at the back side. The material is very, uh, has this interesting structure to it. Then there are the couple logos, which are kind of weaved into there. This is also, look at on the other side, on the inside. Really cool really 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 cool and i also like how this logo i mean it is a sticker but it has some um uh, you can feel the black there's some 3d a little bit to it uh the kappa logo again is just stitched and you know stretches like crazy this is a fun jersey i'm gonna look forward to it so, I'm ready for the Africa Cup of Nations. I was thinking I should have gotten the Africa Unity shirt. I don't like it that much, to be honest, but uh, yeah. I'm set for the Africa Cup of Nations and that's the coolest thing. Let me know which of these jerseys you like. So I have Algeria, Tunisia, South Africa, Ghana and uh, Burkina Faso. I already have the Nigeria and back there, you can already see I have Cameroon and I have the Cote d'Ivoire, so that's enough jerseys. Unfortunately, I really want to get a Senegal. I really want to get the Egypt. For, the, for Egypt, there's only one, and the Morocco, I would like. For Egypt, there's really only one that I can really accept, and that's the 2010 home jersey with the Pharaoh on there. Every other one with that crest that I don't like, it needs to be something special. Yeah, Morocco, I would like to have. Uh, I wanted to have the Senegal one of those but cannot really find one that i like the price and democratic so as i said for the democratic republic of congo the price is not quite right it might happen i really like their colors and they has have really nice shirts from time to time so 
Eventually it will happen, but for now I'm really, really happy with what I got. I will be able to cover the Africa Cup of Nations. Let's see how much I will see from it. Let me know which jerseys you liked of the ones that I got, which ones should I get. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.